Hey, it's Friday night and I'm ready to let off some steam. So let's go. I mentioned in my last video that I was going to do a video in a couple of weeks about what's in my bag, but um, I haven't cleaned my clubs yet for the season. I've been lazy. So we're going to do that today. Stay tuned. Okay, here I am by the sink here, ready to get started. I've got uh, my trusty 7-iron here, Maverick Max. You'll see these when I do my what's in the bag. But um, the seven iron, probably my most used club. Um, I usually keep these in pretty clean, but uh, I give them a really good deep cleaning at the end of the season. You'll see uh, this one's a little gunked up a little bit, a little stuff in the grooves and whatnot. And um, I'm gonna show you what I do at the end of the season uh, to get these ready for storage and ready for uh, a next year uh, debut okay so what you're gonna need is I use a steamer yep I bought it for cleaning I'm not much of a cleaner but um, I saw somewhere a long time ago that Gulf Avenue used a steamer to clean their clubs for resale so I thought I'd give it a try and it's worked pretty good so I continue with it then I also use just some cheap you know microfiber towels I get from the dollar store and then some mr. clean magic erasers and uh, you'll you'll see what I'm gonna do with this it's a tip I picked up from uh, Steve Bosheri from Bosheri golf uh, if you have a Facebook account you've probably seen his ads pop up for that uh, heavy putter that they're pushing on social media but um, yeah so we're gonna get into it here and uh, I'll show you my uh, my procedures okay the first thing you're gonna want to do is if you use any kind of um, analytics uh, tools such as Arcos which which I use here you're gonna want to go ahead and screw that sensor off you don't want to get steam on that so I'll just go ahead and do that real exciting footage here all right then I'm going to take some tape and tape down the button on my steamer so it stays engaged I don't know why it doesn't have a lot but you'll hear here it gets started and I use the attachment to stop the brush and I just go along the top and along the groove I try to stay away from the hosel because this is steam and it might affect the glue but I get the back real good and then I just quickly go up now these are steel shafts black they're not they're not graphite so I just do it quick and then I hit the grip You can even do the top of the grip. But you want to get all sides of the grip. These are called Pride uh, CP wraps. Uh, yeah, but that's about it. I'll get everything to ready for the next step and then I'll show you that. Okay, then why the grips are wet, I'm just going to go ahead and hit it with the magic eraser here. 
and we'll just go ahead and go all around it. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea to just get a little water on that. Just go all around the grip. It's okay to do the top there because those get dirty too, especially underneath the, the Arcos sensor. These haven't seen uh, daylight the top there for months. So there you go, you just hit it. You know, and you can see the dirt it brings up. It's a really good tool. And then then maybe rinse them off real quick, I guess. Again, you can hit them again with the steamer, but as you saw, that was quite the trying to do it and film at the same time. It's a little cumbersome, but so we'll just rinse it with water. And let me just put this back down. Then after you hit it with the steam, I mean, it, uh, the club head and everything in the grip, they, they, I mean, especially the club head, still going to be warm. So what I do is I take these towels I get from the dollar store. There's two in a pack. And I use one. It doesn't matter. They come in yellow and green. Let's use the green one for the head and the shaft. So I use one for the head and one for the shaft on all the clubs. You're going to go through your whole bag for the, with this process, obviously. Just get them nice and dry. All right, and then put that one aside. And then I use the other one for the grips. Just get those nice and cleaned up. Oh man, you can already feel the life being brought back into these grips. I mean, they're all tacky again. Oh yeah, love it, oh yeah. You're ready for another season. All right. So there you have it. You have a nice clean grip. You have a nice clean head, sole, and you're ready to go. All right, 13 more to go. But I'm just gonna show you the one, so don't worry. Well, that's gonna wrap things up for this video. Um, as always, thanks for tuning in. I wanna give a shout out to the original Penguin for the fresh polo and for Nike for the super fresh lid. Um, it's a 2020 US Open hat. Notice the little winged feet, if you will, on the hat. Very, very nice. And like I say, a bush in the hand is worth two in the bird. See you next time.